thank you for watching. So this video is going to be about my experience as a healthcare worker during COVID-19, which is the pandemic of 2020. I am actually a traveler, so I am a contracted employee with the healthcare system here that I'm working at in Kansas, United States. And it's definitely been an interesting experience so far, a little bit high and a little bit low and a little bit of everything in between. So I just wanted to share this experience with you because someone had asked about it and they were interested on whether that had really affected my traveling or not. And it has. So we'll go ahead and let you know. Truth starts right here. Honor God. Choices. That fear doesn't thwart you. Thank you for needing some attention and ensuring that I move on to my next task. changes have definitely made an impact and they start at the front door. So you have to go through a security checkpoint and then you go through a temperature checkpoint at which point they will direct you where to go whether you have a fever or not and whether you're exhibiting signs of the virus or not. So it's definitely been an interesting experience because it wasn't like that to begin with and it's very controlled. They use a lot of the social distancing so there's marked places of where you can stand they do require masks. So as you come up and you go through the temperature checkpoint, they give you a mask to wear, as well as just pushing you through the direction you need. So they limit the amount of visitors that can be here to help limit the amount of spread of the virus. Okay, so there have been some definite departmental changes. The department I work in is sterile processing, and that's under the surgical services unit. So if there's an emergency and someone needs to have surgery immediately, there needs to be someone here to ensure that those instruments are safe for patient use. That means that we're considered critical staff. And thankfully, due to that factor, the manager was able to fight to keep us. So not only was I able to fulfill my contract, which was from February to May, I was able to be extended until August to ensure that he had employees to meet patient needs. And Within the time that I've been here, it's definitely been a blessing and a learning experience because when I started, it was overtime overload and that's why they needed me because they had so much going on. And once the pandemic really hit and they canceled elective surgeries, meaning that if it wasn't life or death, it can wait, that was over about 4,000 surgeries within a month. And that left us with a lot of open space and time. Thankfully, we were able to use that for extra training as well as extra thorough cleaning. They have changed some few things regarding what we can do around here regarding social distancing. There's only a certain amount of people allowed in the break room at one time, at the locker room at one time, and you have to keep the six feet for the droplet area. And you also aren't allowed to have your electronic devices in the department. So no cell phone, no earbuds, no speaker, no watches. Um, I'm not able to listen to music, so that's a different experience. I haven't had that at other hospitals. It has its interesting moments, I will say that. But regarding cleaning and everything like that, we've definitely upped our game. And that's really good because it reminds us of the importance of what we do. Along with those changes, there have been changes regarding my contract. And as I said, I'm very grateful and blessed that I was able to keep my contract because there were a lot of people that even worked for my company alone that lost their jobs and were laid off and sent home. There was a state, South Carolina, that had 17 people laid off from one hospital in one day from the company that I work with. And when I called and was trying to see whether I was going to be able to extend or whether I was going to be able to go somewhere else, the recruiter told me that there was no positions available anywhere and that over 400 people had been canceled and sent home due to this pandemic and not having enough work for these people. And so I'm very, very grateful and blessed because keeping 
my job here allowed me not only to keep working, but it allowed me to pay my bills and to ensure that I was able to give and help people that weren't able to do for themselves. So a serious consideration for what COVID-19 has done for me and many people has to do with travel restrictions. I am a traveler, therefore I'm from a different state. I have a home in a different state. I have loved ones in a different state. And so I've been alone for a long time. And like many people, that's been hard on me <laughs> because had I even left the state that I'm in, I would have had to endure a two week quarantine to ensure I didn't have COVID-19, but that I didn't possibly spread it to others. And it would have nullified my contract. So I would have been out of a job. And that just wasn't an option for me. And I did miss out on holidays and spending time with my family. And I do miss them. I have been lonely and on the personal side, I have been lonely without my family and loved ones, but not being able to talk to a specific one and to not be able to see any of them has been hard, but it's been a learning process. And I'm grateful for the time and the space because that's what's been needed. It's what I needed to learn the true importance of loving people and spending how much that means to spend time with people when you can't do it and it's grown me in so many ways but the most important is i've grown a lot closer to god and that being said he's always there for me no matter what and that's been really good and helpful because it's shown me how important it is to really consider what you're doing with your time and what I'm doing with my time and whether I'm making other people's lives better. And so I am starting to make more videos again and ensuring that I'm doing the things that I wanna do with my life and just enjoying the time that I have. So the travel restrictions have been hard because I have been lonely and I do miss my family and my loved ones. And that's just hard, but it's okay. It's okay because sometimes space and time is needed for us to learn and grow to the point of being anything and everything that we wanna be. I am very grateful that it's gonna be okay. I believe him and I believe that we can grow through this situation and we can grow closer together, maybe not physically, but emotionally and spiritually because this is something that has definitely changed the world. It's shaken us and it's brought it, us to our knees. And to watch the world in this situation has changed everything for a lot of people, mostly everyone. And while I really miss certain people, it's okay that our lives are different now because we get an opportunity to grow. So the travel restrictions have been lifted to a certain extent, but I'm actually grateful for them because they showed me that I am okay. I am an adult and I can handle any situation and anything that life throws at me. During my time here, I've definitely learned a lot of things and I'm very grateful for the time that I've had here and the people that I've met. And I was offered a full-time position to stay at the hospital I'm at but after serious consideration and a lot of prayer, I've decided that that's an unwise financial decision for me unless I was willing to permanently move here and get rid of everything else. I'm not ready to do that. So I intend to keep traveling. And they told me that there's a possibility my contract could be canceled if I didn't take that position. So that is a consideration for the future. But there are so many experiences in cross education and honestly debt relief out there for me that I intend to keep traveling. So there should be more videos to come. All right, so I just wanna say thank you for watching to the end. And I just hope you found this video helpful and insightful to what it's like to work in the healthcare field during the pandemic of 2020 regarding COVID-19. And I'm very grateful for you watching, but I'm also very grateful for my job and everything else, you know, like breathing and whatnot. So I just want to say thank you. And I hope that you'll have a wonderful day. And ich liebe dich, je t'aime, te quiero, and a bientôt. I'll see you soon.